All right, welcome back. And today we're going to be making a pumpkin seed sunfish lure. And uh, from here you can see it's going to have a lip. I marked off a little spot there. So it's going to have more of a crankbait action. And uh, we'll see how it goes and give it a try. All right, guys, so this is just the basic process of shaping it out. Most people, they do uh, carve it with a knife or a chisel and then sand it off. I personally like to use just my jigsaw, cut out the basic shape, and then shape it all out with the Dremel, as you see here. And uh, it definitely is a fun process and pr pretty much time-consuming, but it definitely gets the job done and ends up pretty neat. So there it is. And uh, also after that, we cut out the lip, which we're going to be using for the crankbait-type action, and here it is. All right, so here we are at the moment with the shape of the lure so far, and I tried to make it more narrow to the top and kind of had that raindrop shape to make it look natural and realistic. And I also made one recently. Here's one that I was just kind of going for a sunfish body. I think it turned out pretty neat. And uh, it's definitely more of a big fish catcher compared to uh, this is more of a numbers kind of fish catcher because the size difference and more fish, I assume, would go after the smaller one because it's easier to... Uh, attack if you're a fish I guess but um, yeah I think it should turn out pretty neat so we'll see how it goes and now we're on to the lip so here it is with a lip already inserted and I uh, already taped over it so that way there'd be no scuffs and you may be wondering like, why is it so big because it is probably I don't know one third of the length of the bait and uh, I've been testing out different lures lately and uh, trying to figure out what I like better to see if it goes deeper or just really experimenting to see how it works. So um, I thought this one would be a good one to test out, but should be pretty neat. And now I'm going to add all the hardware and everything. And uh, I always remember, I saw this in one of the videos that I was watching, that you should always cover your uh, vice in case um, you, you pinch the vice too hard and then it makes marks in your lure. And uh, especially for mine, mine's a metal vice, so it can really screw up your lure so make sure you do that before you make the same mistake i did but uh now it's time for hardware so this is where we're at so far i think it's turned out pretty cool i just did quite a bit of sanding and I had the eye sockets and everything as you guys saw in the time lapse and uh also have all the hardware and the lead all together so i think we're ready for the first layer of white paint and then we can get on to all the detailing and everything i think i'm gonna do uh three or four coats of white paint just to make sure that covers all the imperfections and uh, makes it look all smooth and natural and nice so uh i'm gonna do that real quick and then we can get on to painting So there it is, the finished pumpkin seed sunfish lure. And uh, I definitely really like how realistic it came out with looking like the actual fish with that new pattern that I tried out with shifting the mesh to add the depth to the scales. I think it ended up pretty cool. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great Easter, and I'll see you in the next one.